Remember this? You take that tape out. Those shocking four words from a convenience store worker last week brought the food patrol to a grinding halt. The Conoco on 619 East Harrison in Harlingen with 35 demerits. Health inspectors say they found eroded poop virtually everywhere inside. When we tried to leave after asking questions, ironically, we found ourselves trapped like a rat. This guy locked us inside. We tried no, to get no, out. Don't, don't touch me, though. Don't, don't, don't touch, touch me. You can't in here. Okay, let me tell you something. You don't don't put here. your hands on me. Do not, not put your hands on me. You then step away from the door and let us outside. Harlingen police freed us following a 911 call. Charges include unlawful restraint. We're told the case will be forwarded to the district attorney. Oh, my goodness. I'm glad you're doing this for everybody. Reaction following the incident has been nothing less than unprecedented. I thought that was just plain wrong. Some calling for immediate justice. Others volunteering to become a personal bodyguard. Bottom line, the food patrol isn't giving up. The fight to keep you safe continues. So what else was not on the menu from last week? Try 30 demerits at Irma's Restaurant on North I Road in San Juan. Most troubling here, an employee busted for grabbing cheese without washing hands. No, 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 it wasn't washing hands. They needed uh, a special thing for the cheese. Huh. It says clearly right here, grabbing cheese without washing hands. No, 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 washing hands, no. We got soap and water. But what does that have to do with not with the washing hands part? That's not, that's not right. So you're saying the health inspector's wrong? No, 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 no. I'm saying it's wrong. I'm telling you that's not right. It's an argument some say is hard to swallow. The public wants to know where they can eat or where they don't want to eat because of this. Owner Irma Garza shows us a reinspection report, even allows us inside her kitchen. She says you are safe here to eat and all corrections have been made. So we move to this Aziz on Expressway 83 in La Jolla. 27 demerits, it's another low performer. No soap or towels at a hand wash station, cross-contamination of foods, and a missing thermometer to ensure proper temperature. Just some of the violations. We try to ask questions. I don't know. Nothing. <laughs> it's to no avail. El Rodeo Restaurant on North Raul Longoria in San Juan makes the low performer list with 24 demerits. No hair nets, improper labeling, uncovered foods, missing thermometers, and dirty equipment to problems. Leonel Amador is eating inside when we arrive. Keep it clean here. If not, he's going to get you. Not if a restaurant keeps it clean. Inaro's Pizza on FM 802 in Brownsville can testify to that. It's a top performer after getting zero demerits on a health report. And Inaro's Pizza has the sticker to prove it. We don't want a dirty kitchen. We couldn't have said it better ourselves. Keep it clean.